Please subscribe my channel. A beautiful wife. I have no clear recollection of the when, where, or how I first encountered Lygia. The encounter happened long ago, and my memory fails me, but I believe our paths crossed in a sizable ancient city near the Rhine in Germany. She mentioned hailing from a lineage of antiquity, yet the family name of the woman who became my friend, study companion, and ultimately my wife remained unknown to me. Why this mystery persisted in her family name eludes my memory, perhaps by her design, but the specifics evade my recall. One vivid memory persists. Lygia possessed a statuesque and slender figure. As time wore on, she transformed into a frail form, describing her composed, aristocratic movements or the peculiar gentleness of her footsteps poses a challenge. In my office, her presence became apparent only when her voice resonated or when her white hand graced my shoulder. Her beauty, though striking, lacked classical features, leaving an enigmatic aura. The source of this mystique eludes comprehension. Was it her flawless, fair skin or her luxuriant, ebony hair? I observed her flawlessly shaped, delicate nose on numerous occasions, and her sweet mouth, soft and crimson, revealed white teeth when she smiled. Yet, her eyes, larger than ordinary, assumed a deer-like quality in moments of excitement. They were black, adorned with long lashes and brows, but an elusive expression lingered within, a mystery I pondered for hours, often through the night. The nature of that expression, a riddle I sought to unravel, slipped from my grasp just when I believed I neared an answer. Lygia emanated a resolute spirit, though her demeanor remained calm and subdued. The determination radiating from her eyes carried an unsettling energy that occasionally unnerved me. Gifted in languages, mastering Latin and Greek, she excelled in diverse tongues and exhibited flawless competence. A dedicated student of science and mathematics, she generously aided my studies during the initial years of our marriage. However, with her demise, I found myself adrift, akin to a child navigating the darkness alone. During her initial bout of illness, Lygia's assistance dwindled, and as she grew thinner, her once translucent skin assumed an ethereal pallor. Witnessing her imminent demise, I felt an overwhelming despair. Yet she defied death with unwavering determination, fighting fiercely for life. In her final moments, she held my hands, professing an unwavering devotion that became apparent only in the face of death. Although I cannot delve into the details now, her love served as a cornerstone of her relentless will to survive. On the night of her passing, Lygia, in a sudden burst, rose from her bed, lamenting, O oh God, must I die? Must I succumb to death's embrace? The desperate cry echoed, but my beloved Lygia succumbed. Overwhelmed with sorrow, I could not linger in the ancient city by the Rhine. For several months, I embarked on a journey. Eventually, I acquired an old abbey in a secluded part of England, a place mirroring my somber solitude. Despite adorning it with vibrant curtains, carpets, and ornaments in, the hope of brightening my spirits, the colors failed to dispel the darkness within. Regrettably, my excessive drinking during this period remains a topic I'd rather not delve into. Eventually, fate led me to marry Lady Rowena Trevanion of Tremaine, a woman with blonde hair and blue eyes, starkly different from my first love, Lygia. Yet, how could I ever erase the memories of Lygia?